Hi oh guys, very quick one today. Had a couple of people ask for a quick look around the forge. It's not very exciting, so don't get uh, too disappointed. It's basically eighth plate, seven inches high, 22 inches square, held up on scaffold pole legs, adjustable, which slip over other poles, which are welded to the base. This T, I think it's about a two inch cast T. Uh, welded to a bit of pipe that goes up through the bottom of the forge, sticks out about an inch. Um, and the main body of the forge is filled with bricks all around the outside, just leaving a sort of a square in the middle open. Uh, and then sand all around through the bricks, and then a final coating of coal or coke and, and dust, which will build up over the years. I clean this one out regularly, um, even if during use I keep making sure it's clean because it's uh, surprising how it restricts the airflow with dust and muck. It's getting on a bit now. This forge made about 30 years ago. There's a little tray on the side for putting your tools on when you're working. Water Bosch, again, just folded up a bit of eighth on an angle iron frame held up with a couple of bits of box section legs hang your hammers on a uh, cheap replacement Chinese blower, my last one blew up still cost me 400 quid um, in the bottom here under this bit of clinker which will go in here and then get recycled onto the drive to fill the potholes in um, there is a in the, the sort of the gap in the middle that I've left a bit of stainless steel about eight inches round, two inches thick with a bit of about an inch and a half hole in the middle. Um, actually, you're not going to see it. I can't get to it. It keeps falling down. But trust me, it's in there. It doesn't have to be stainless. It could be cast. Could even be a bit of heavy mild steel. But it needs to be pretty hefty because that's where the the bulk of the heat is going to be and uh, it will burn anything else out. A cheap fire, uh, blower sorry, bolts on the side there, blows out through this bit of plastic tube which looks like it's seen better days, I want that kink taken out of it. A um, couple of bits of angle iron holding the hood up, those patches are from various different buildings I've been in where I've had to vent out the back if I've been in a low building through a wall or through a window it's not doing bad that hood it's been it's over, well over 25 years old maybe 30 years old because I didn't have a hood on it originally I used it outside it was only 14 gauge when I started um, it's all controlled the motors controlled via this rear stat which is simple on off faster and slower um, I think that's about it really oh yes the coal well it's not coal it's actually coke it's I think is processed coal I don't know if it's been partially burnt had the tar taken out of it and impurities. It's not as hot as coal. It's far more controllable. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.